And now switching gears, before the fireworks go off on Independence Day, plenty of people will be getting their holiday started with a backyard cookout. Riley Blackburn is at the grocery store to figure out how much all that food could cost this year. At the Stop and Shop in Clifton, New Jersey, shoppers are filling up for the fourth. Family, backyard time, grilling time, hanging out with friends. Who doesn't look forward to the fourth? It's the summertime. And family favorites are on the menu. All the things for him to make his famous macaroni salad. Even though inflation is easing, it's still being felt. When we get yeah, the it, final bill, it's like sometimes yeah. it's a sticker shock. Overall, grocery store prices are up about 1% from last year, but that's compared to about 4% at restaurants. So cooking at home can save some dough. Hamburgers are a July 4th staple, and while the price of ground beef is higher this year, lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese are less. Wells Fargo puts the average price to make a classic cheeseburger at $2.19 each. Well, when you look at making that burger, yeah, it's just about where it was a year ago. Economist Michael Swanson says lower potato prices mean potato salad is cheaper and beer is only up 1.2% from a year ago. To see it down to 1.2%, that's pretty normal inflation. But dessert could be bittersweet. Cupcakes are 5.6% more than in 2023. Swanson says shop around for the best deals. Many stores will discount certain items to get people in the door but they don't put everything on sale. So you really want to make sure that you find what you want, where you want it, but don't throw a lot of things in your cart just because you're there, because you might not be getting the bargain that you think you are. One way to get more bang for your buck on the 4th. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, Clifton, New Jersey.